Hi, welcome again to another edition of your everyday computer software tips and tricks. Today, I'll be showing you how I create my carousels in Adobe Illustrator. So without wasting time, why don't we start? So you might have seen a number of characters online, especially on Instagram or LinkedIn. And you might have wondered to yourself how you can also create something similar to this. So as you can see on the screen, this is one of my carousels that I created earlier and posted on my LinkedIn and on my Instagram um, account. So as you can see, this is a 10 page carousel that I created that talks about AI and how we can make better, better copy with AI. So I'm going to walk you through how you can also create something similar to this and it will give you a fair idea about how you can also go about creating your own carousels in Adobe Illustrator. So let's create our new document by going to file, clicking on new. A new window will appear or pop up. Make sure your width is 1800 pixels in here and the height is also 1800 pixels here. You can leave the bleed as it is at zero pixels and then just click on create. So with this, we have a new document created for us and we have here what is called an ad board. So we just have one of that here, but as you can see on our original carousel, we need about 10 of these. So let's just jump back to our new document. And then go to the right hand side to the ad board icon click on ad board and as you can see we have one ad board over here but we need 10. if you can't find your icon on the right just go to windows and in there you find ad boards in here and can just click on that so click on the ad board icon and then go to the plus symbol below and we need to create 10 so we hit the plus sign 10 times When you zoom out, you can see we have 10 ad boards created for us, but this is not the arrangement we want. So let's rearrange them. Go to the icon here, rearrange icon. We want to have three columns and then the spacing between the ad boards should be 200 pixels. So now we have our ad boards arranged nicely for us. So we have about four elements to our carousel. As you can see, there's some text, there's some images here. We also have some small headers. You can say headers or footers in here. This is the year, the carousel number, my name, and then my social media handle, and then a background, which is blue, and then some colors that runs across um, the ad board. So first we need to set the background for our ad board. So to get the background for our ad boards, let's head over to the rectangle tool on the left. Click and drag the rectangle tool across all of them. Once we are done, we need to change the color. So go to the fill color on the left hand side, double click on it and then change the color. So I've already copied the color code for my carousel. So I'll just paste it in here, control V, click on OK and then go, we have this to represent the background or which is going to be the background for all the carousels. Now we need to lock this in place so that any changes we make to this is not going to shift the position. So quickly go to layers on the right hand side. If you can't find layers, just go to window and then go scroll through the options in here and then you see layers in here. So click on layers. So this is our first layer and this is what we want to be the background. So we need to lock it and then create a new layer. So everything you're going to create is going to fall on top of our background. So once it's locked, now we can't select it anymore. So the next thing we do is now create our, footer, our headers and footers in here. So let's go to head over to the text tool, click and drag, type the year 2022 in here. Now, because the color is dark, we can see it. Let's change it to white so we can see it very well. And let's align it to try and align it to the left. Okay, so we have 22. 
22 here just copy and paste control c control v let's align this to the right and this is going to be a carousel number so we just type 02 once you are done with that now you need to go to the footer section so let's just copy 2022 control c control v again bring it down make sure it's aligned to the right and just double click in there and type my name and that can be, it can be whatever name you decide to put there and then right beneath it is going to be my social media handle y w d a r k o so depending on normally i would want this to the font sizes to be very small so that it doesn't take away from the main text and images that i want the users to see so let's just go to the font size and decrease this to about 45 i think 45 is okay so we are going to have this running across all the ad boards so all we need to do is just click and drag to select all of them click on ctrl c and we want it to be in the same position on all the ad boards so all we need to do is just click on the ad board and just and click on ctrl shift v so doing that we'll, we'll copy and paste them and put them at the same position for all the ad boards so let's just do that quickly for all of them ctrl shift v Control Shift V. Control Shift. Control Shift V. Control Shift V. But the last, as you can see, the last carousel is not going to have the header over here, so we'll leave that one out. So going back to our document. When you zoom out you can see that we have our footers and headers across all the carousels and i think when we zoom in a little if we go back to the original design you can see i have my footer also my name and social media handle in here so we can quickly put that also in there so copy this go to that ad Control shift v and it places it at the same position so now the next thing we need to look at are the um, circle elements that we have going back to our original circle elements we have here so because i have them already i can just copy and paste them and show you where you're going to place them in on, on a new document so with that we just control v and i'm going to just place them at random places just make copies of them and place them at random places make some of them a little bigger place this here copy paste place that here just to give the whole thing um a template kind of feel so you have the you have them at various places on each of the carousel so you just place them at random places in here now if you want to see the individual carousels what you can do is go to view and then go to trim view so it just gives you a preview of how the whole thing will look like when is everything is exported so i think we are good with this so now that we have the, um, the base in place, we need to lock these as well. So we need to go to layers. Now this is layer three, we need to lock everything because we're not going to temper with the positions. Now once that is done, we need to create a new layer. This is going to be layer four. So this is what is going to hold our text, our main text and our images. So going back to the original design, um, I already have all the images stored in a folder and 
normally with the text normally I, I like to plan what i'm going to write on each of the carousels so i normally have this word document in here that i've already written what is going to go on each carousel which i've numbered one to ten so when i have it like this it's easier to get the carousels done within a few minutes or within a few hours so i'm just going to copy the first one it's ai writing better copy than you click on Control c head over to the first carousel go to the text tool click and drag and then paste it in there i'll remove the numbering from there left align the whole thing change the color to white and then increase the font size to about 300 so i think 400 is 300 is smaller so i increased mine to about 400 and this is what i got is ai writing better copy than you so we just change the ai text to a different color just for it to stand out so i'm just using the eyedropper tool here selecting the ai click the eyedropper tool and then hit on the color the, <coughs> this color here and then the ai text changes to an orange or a red color so once that is done let's bring in our images so go to file go to place and it will take us to where I have my images. So I have the bot, bot here, I have my notepad and I have my pencil. So once you select them, you can click and hold the control key and then it will select all three for you and then you hit on place. And then now you can place them individually on your art board. So now I have them here. I want the notepad to be here um select the bot right click on it go to arrange bring it to front let him sit on the notepad now select the pencil i want that also to come to the front and so that is beside the bot now i want to select both the notepad pencil and the bot and decrease the size select the bots decrease the size a little so there you have it so now this is how i want my first carousel to look like is ai writing better copy than you so now all we need to do is put the content for each of the carousels on in there so we just need to go back to our word document copy the second text if you love writing it's probably because you're good at it now select that go back go to the text to the text tool again click and drag control v now just make the changes reduce the font size for it to fit the page so i'll go with uh, 200 here and go to character and decrease the line spacing so i'll just speed the video up because i'm just placing all the text on the ad boards as you can see So I'm done with the text now. I've placed all the text in their respective um, ad balls or respective carousels. Um, so I have images, I have some icons in here. With this icon that you see here, it's just a brush tool that I use. When you click on the brush tool on the left hand side here, just click and then just try and make an arrow sign with your mouse. Um, these images, these icons or logos you see here, a couple of AI writers I picked on the internet 
and just put in there as um, some AI writers that um, you could go to for to generate AI content or AI text. So um, my text is done here. Next will be to bring in my images. So the first thing will be to go to place, file, place, go to my first image, which is this person sitting on a pencil. Just bring him in here. Just place it right here. And I'll add all the other images to it as well. So as you can see now, I have everything in place. I have my text, I have my images. So you can just take your time to rearrange the images or text to suit um, your, your preference. So basically we are almost done with our carousel. So we have everything we need in there, just reading the text to make sure everything is rightly done. And now we are able to save our work and export it so now our carousel is done and everything is nicely done and we want to export it so that we can be able to post it now if you are going to use it on linkedin post it on linkedin it's best to save it or export it as a as a pdf and if you are going to um, post it on instagram then you go for pictures so let's just see how we export them as images or as pictures so you go to file you go to export export for screens now you can see all your artboards here you have to first have to select the fo folder where you want to um, save your images so in this case i've created a new a new um, folder called car new carousel select that folder go to select folder and you can either export them as png or as jpeg so in my case i'll go for jpeg and then click on export at board so once everything is done it will show you the folder where you exported everything to so as you can see on the screen it says it's exported everything into the folder for me and once i open it i have my carousels nicely done for me now let's see how you can also export them as pdf also so you go to file go to save as and then save as type you click on that and then go to adobe pdf so adobe pdf means that we are saving our documents or our carousels as a pdf let's go to our new carousel folder again and then click on save now a new dialog box will pop up asking you what what type of um, presets that you want your PDF to be in so if you want to go for high quality um, and then the other options but mostly I go for press quality so for press quality once you click on that and then you can say save PDF so with that once it's finished saving it will, it will also open up a PDF for you where you have everything saved in there nicely. So there you have it. This is how you create a carousel in Adobe Illustrator. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to my channel. You can also hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any new tutorials that I'll be uploading onto my channel very soon. Thank you very much once again for joining me on this tutorial. I hope you stay safe, stay strong. And I'll see you again.